Hi, I'm Aaron from Columbia. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your angle head blades. For the angle head blade kit, you get one H19, one sixteenth Allen key, two H3s, whatever size you're repairing, two H4s, and 16 FA235s. To start the blade kit repair, remove your four blades. To do that, use your 1 Allen key and remove the set screws that are holding them in place. The blade sometimes just pops out on you. Once you've removed all the screws, you can remove all your old blades. Then also remove the three screws on each side, so six total screws of the back. They're your advanced screws. We're gonna replace those with new ones. Now we're gonna put our new set screws back in before we put the blades in. Just put them in flush with the back of the wing. Don't, uh, don't advance them all the way. We'll do that later. Put the three in the back side. Three on the other side. Place the sides here as well. Uh, make sure you don't go into the slot because you're gonna need that slot clear for your blade to go into. Same thing on all the other slots. So just put them in maybe halfway. Now that you have all your set screws in place, we're ready to put our blades in. We'll start with our top blades. There's two ends, there's a rounded end and a sharp pointy end. The sharp pointy end goes in the center. On each side, where the back advanced set screw is, you want it to touch the blade. Once, it, once you know it touched the blade, do one full turn on the set screw, on the Allen key. So do one full turn on the Allen key once you know it's touched the blade. So start from here, I'm gonna to return to that point. Repeat the same step on the other side. Touch the Allen key, or touch the set screw up to the blade, and then do one full turn. Next, we're gonna tighten the blades in place. To do that, we're gonna close the frames. So close them. This is open, this is closed. We're gonna place both the blades together evenly in the middle. So you don't want, you want them even like a pyramid in the middle. Tighten down your screws. I like to start with one side. Do all three. Then make sure your blade is touching the other blade. Do the three on that side.
keep pressure on the blades. Now loosen the, uh, the two set screws that touch in the middle there. Loosen them off so they're not even holding the blade. And let go. When you open and close the frames, there should be no gap between the blades. If there is a gap, you're gonna get lines in your mud. So why I loosen these two screws off is so that the blades float against each other. If I tighten them, they stay in place and sometimes they can separate. So the only thing holding the blades in place are these four set screws on the back end. So you just want a nice closed gap in there. So brand new blades can be quite sharp and they can tear the tape. So what I like to do is I close the frames together and run them on some sandpaper just to take the hard edge off. It should feel nice and smooth afterwards. Now we're gonna remove and replace the AH4 skids with new ones. To remove them, use the 1 Allen key. Remove the two side FA-235s. You might have to use a pair of pliers to remove the H4. Same thing on the other side. If the pair of pliers isn't working to remove the H4 because you have too much mud in there, you can always advance the screws on the back side of it as well to remove it. It'll push it out. Once you have your side blades out, you want to reverse your two back advanced screws so that they're below the slot that the blade goes into. Check the slot, make sure that they're not above or interfere in any way. Now we'll put the new side blades in with the new set screws. I always like to replace the old set screws with new ones because the, uh, the old ones can be um, full of mud or stripped out. So it's always nice to put new ones on when you're doing a repair. To replace these, there's two ends. There's a rounded end and a sharp end on the blade. You want the sharp end to go up against the top blade and you want the rounded end to face up on the bottom. Place it in, make sure it's nice and flat and touching against the top blade there. And then put your FA-235 set screw in. Same thing on the bottom. Put them both in the top and the bottom. Tighten them down. Same thing on the other side. Make sure it's nice and flat and goes up against the top blade. You want the rounded part at the bottom and the flat, sharp part at the top. Replace both set screws and tighten them down. Okay, now we're ready to set the side blades. Setting the side blades is what allows you to have more or less mud when you're coating. Set the mud flow, I use a 15 thou shim. I put it underneath the bottom end of the skid, the opposite side of the top blade. And I lower that skid just until it hits the shim. You can tell by rocking it, if there's no rock, you've hit the shim. After that, you can remove that and lower the other end the one that's on the side of the top blade, just until it hits the plate, but you haven't gone. You want it to be even with your top blade. You want to lower this to the top blade so that it's even with the top blade on the plate. You don't want it below, that's going to leave edges. 
and if it's above the top blade where the top blades actually raised off of the plate you're going to get edges so you want it exactly even where there's no light showing on the top blade and no light showing on the side blade repeat the same step for the other side take your shim place it underneath the bottom end advance the set screw until the side blade touches remove your shim and advance the set screw on the top end where it hits the top blade until it touches the plate should have a nice rock in there and your repair is done Thank you for watching today's repair video. For more instructional videos, please go to ColumbiaTools.com.